So hi, I'm Sean Clark. Um, many of you might know me as at vSeanClark on Twitter. Um, I do blog at seanclark.us. I'm a principal consultant with Tech Systems uh, based in Bloomington, Illinois, and working for uh, a Fortune 100 company. Uh, really like it there. We're working on cloud computing, um, virtualization, um, everything. And it's, it's, it's fun, it's exciting, it's fun to work in a large shop like that. But here we are at VMworld. Um, this is my sixth VMworld. And uh, uh, just excited to be here again. It feels a lot like the first time um, that I went for some reason this year. I think it's because uh, um, I, I didn't uh, party too much at VM Underground and, and socialize more than drinking. So <clears throat> that helps with the Monday morning uh, keynotes and, and sessions and stuff. So. Um, so that's been good. Uh, met a lot of great people through the, through the VM Underground and uh, just the, taking time to talk with folks uh, before and after sessions has been awesome. Um, you get a, you could go in depth with real practitioners of some of the software and, and, and get their real opinion on you know, what's good, what's bad, what's ugly. But um, I guess I mentioned VM Underground. Many people don't probably know what VM Underground is, but uh, you can find out at vmunderground.com. It's a, a community party for uh, the, the VMworld conference. Uh, I organize it with uh, my co-instigators, uh, Theron Conray and Brian Knutson. Uh, it's really Theron's brainchild from five years ago. It was just a, a meetup organized through the VMware Communities Forum. Um, and he would get stuck with the bill a couple times for a few small handful of uh, people. Um, three years ago, we got formal sponsorship, and we, we rented the upstairs to the Thirsty Bear in San Francisco, and we did again uh, the same thing last year. And Train Signal has been a sponsor, I think, the whole the whole time, and that's been great. Um, but this year, we, we went big. We got 500 people into the Nine Fine Irishmen in New York, New York, and it was a great venue. It was a great party, and uh, we had some good sponsors, and it, it was just a, it was a blast. Um, some of you might also hear it be called, it's called a number of names now. It, it's also now uh, WUPAS, so that's W-U-P-A-A-S, Warm Up Party as a Service. And uh, Mother of All V-Beers is the, the, other, uh, uh, the other name for it, but um, it's a great time. We have giveaways, food, beer, conversation, that's good. You make a lot of new friends. So. I don't know, I, I guess I wasn't too excited until after the, the party got done. I, I get kind of nervous, worked up for that. It's a lot, of, a lot of preparation and always worried that we're going to have to turn away too many people. This year it was good, it kind of was a steady trickle. Um, I think if Hurricane Irene didn't happen, we might have, we might have been turning away people. It, but it worked out good and um, we had a good time. But now that I'm into the conference, we've had one full day under our belts and um, a little different last year, um, or this year, where we went to sessions in the morning and had a keynote Tuesday after or Monday afternoon, which is kind of different. Um, but I enjoyed it. I went to a PCI session, um, trying to not yeah PCI security um, compliance, and it's not necessarily a sexy topic for me. But a friend of mine asked asked me to go learn on, you know, what are people doing with PCI and, and what are they doing to to take these. Um, these these workloads have to be very secure and uh, regulated and how can we host them with things that aren't secure and uh, I was doing a little homework there to find out how we could help with that. But PCI if you don't know is the payment card in industry and it's uh, regulations that uh, if you take credit card numbers you have to live by it. Um, train signal you probably have to comply with PCI. Um, so. I'm going through a number of storage sessions. Uh, with vSphere 5, there's been some amazing storage enhancements. Um, the, the, one of the bigger ones is storage DRS. Um, VMware's killer feature forever has been vMotion and DRS, the ability to just automatically balance virtual machines among a, a cluster of physical servers. But the storage was static and it stayed in place and you had to manually um, kind of manage it. Um, granted, VMware offered storage emotion so that we could non-disruptively move storage between different data stores um, to either, uh, yeah, mostly for performance reasons, right, or, or maintenance. Well, with storage DRS, that now too is automated, so we take a number of uh, storage volumes, present it to an ESX server, and 
create sort of a, a pool and let vSphere do what it's good at and, and, and manage these and move them around. So really want to learn more about that and learn more about um, what the best practices for that technology are going to end up being. Um, it's always fun to get in on the front end of these technologies and help work with the other, um, I, I guess, technology professionals in the industry and help come come to what these best practices are going to be. So um, excited for that. <coughs> Hopefully, um, get some research in on that and, and maybe uh, maybe who knows? Maybe there'll be a, a, a train signal lesson on it. I don't know. Um, stay tuned. <coughs> Outside of work, um, I've been involved in the IT committee for my kids' school at uh, Epiphany Catholic in, in Normal, Illinois, and um, <clears throat> they need volunteer help. Um, they had aging servers, um, and they were awful. They were like Pentium 3s and just some really old stuff that had been donated over time. Well, we, we, we brought in some VMware and were able to throw away all the, <clears throat> the old servers and all the, the old cabling and, and kind of get them a fresh start. Also been able to kind of branch out into um, wireless networking, which is something I've never really worked with heavily in the past, and brought in a, a really cool product called Aerohive, and I've been learning that and trying to set that up, and it's been fun. It's been good. We're bringing in iPads for the kids, and it's kind of neat to see the, the technology get into the classroom and, and give them a new way to learn, a new way to... to I don't know, I'm kind of jealous. I, I didn't do anything on a computer except play Oregon Trail when I was that age. And, and now these kids are going to have smart boards and iPads. And jeez, uh, my 10 year old's already texting me from her, her iPad touch. So it's kind of it's, it's weird. It's a different world. So this, this uh, summer, it's been kind of, it's dropped off quite a bit. Um, Little League and uh, the IT tech committee that I've been volunteering a lot for and VM Underground have eaten, eaten up a ton of time. But uh, now that that's all done, it's behind me, kids are in school, um, I have a ton of content from VMworld and I'm looking forward to writing that up for everybody and uh, putting my spin on it, not just reporting what happened in the session because you can all, well if you're VMworld attendees, you can go in and actually view them yourself. You don't need me to tell you what happened. but. I do like to put my spin on it and, and tell you why it's important or why it isn't, so uh, stay tuned.